Hey guys, I just want to say how excited I am to actually be starting this video finally. I know last week, as like I announced earlier, yesterday, or today, whichever time zone you were in, that I did start this last week, however, my camera did die, so I was left with 40 seconds out of 15 minutes. But lately, this, all, this past coming month has been chaotic. I've been trying to plan this out. I've been trying to get some questions out of y'all to see what you guys really want to know from me. Now, I've gotten help from my friends, some family members, but more importantly from y'all for the questions because without it, I wouldn't have much to do for this video besides entering for the vlog what this channel is supposed to be about, and it's, it's just a mess. It's a huge, big mess. And I don't want this channel to be boring. I'm trying to bring out who I am, how chaotic I am, or how chaotic seems to be the word for today. I can tell you that much. I've gathered some questions. It's a few questions because I don't want the video to be very long since I'm not very good at this yet. From about me and about the channel. I'm going to answer y'all's questions first because your questions to me matter more than what the channel is. But if you guys want to know what's up with the channel, just keep down here. And we're going to see how this goes. First and foremost, my name is Sandra. I'm a member of DeviantArt. Um, I've been on there for maybe two, two or so years, maybe three years? I think it's two years actually, I'm not quite sure. But um, I've been there for quite some time and I've started my little writing background, I call it. Background? Writing background? And you know, with just over almost 150 followers, I mean, it's... It's gotten me really excited for how everything's gonna play out. And I've always gotten questions about writing since high school, elementary, you know. So this channel is just gonna bring all that together and I'm gonna answer everything foremost. I'm gonna help you guys with a lot of stuff. So let's start with the questions. Where do you find your biggest inspiration for writing? Um, to be honest, I don't really find inspiration and if I do, it's rare. There's a few of my works that actually have it versus majority of my works actually don't. Normally what I do is start out with a word or a phrase and bam, I just start doing that. But I'm not saying like a phrase by someone famous, a celebrity or someone. It's just something I can think of on the top of my head. And I'm like, oh, that sounds nice. So I'm going to run with that. The inspiration, if I normally do come up with inspiration, it's going to be based upon a photo. No matter what, it's going to be based upon a photo, and I'm going to tell a story based upon it. And I'm going to try my best to interpret what I see or personally feel about it. So I don't really have a lot of inspiration for my work, but then again, I do. How often would you say you encounter writer's block? Sad to admit this, but I encounter it very often. Um, I, I had it a while ago. It was like November or December. And I had a few more months, like two months ago, and now I have it again. So it's it's always there, no matter what I do. Uh, to be honest, I could easily write while doing writer's block, and it looks like I don't have writer's block. But really, I'm screaming and crying as I do all my work. Knowing me, I stress about it. And the more I stress, the more the writer's block just takes over, and it's just so depressing. Third question. What are some of your famous works and inspiration from them. Um, I don't really have many famous works or what you want to call famous. However, Let's Play a Game, it's popular, it has over 200 favorites. And you can find it on blogs, not my blog, but other blogs. And you can actually just find it jumping around in Damon Art. It's been featured quite a lot in a lot of people's journals and even in groups on the idea of it and where it came from and the inspiration for that actually came from a picture called, I believe, The Game of Life. The artist, I don't remember, but it's actually, I'm going to actually try to put it in the video if I can. If not, I'm sorry. But it actually has a, a, a frail, older man lying on his deathbed, and he had death over here smoking a cigarette, and you have an angel over here. I don't know if it's God, but they're playing cards on his legs. So since I answered your questions, hopefully that sparked something in y'all or got you guys excited for something. Now these are the questions 
for the vlog. These aren't really asked about uh, from other people. It was actually mostly asked about me. What? What? I'm going to say what I asked. These are questions I would ask to someone who is starting a new YouTube channel in my own passion. Alright? First question. Why create a vlog about writing? This one is kind of hard to answer. I'm not going to lie. There's a few vlogs. Not vlogs. Vlogs. That are actually all about writing. I can put one down in the subscription. Yes, that's what it's called. You can't talk, as you can tell. And he's the one I actually used to watch all the time. And then, I guess like a few months ago, I actually got really inspired to do it. Out of nowhere, because I was reading a book about authors and science fiction, what, what started science fiction. And I was like, oh, hey, what if I actually do a video? A vlog. Yeah, a vlog all about writing. I can give writing advice, I can talk about my own writing, I can just be all passionate about everything I do. And so, why I would create it, or why I am creating it, is because I want to help those who have the same writing struggles, who want to know questions about my writing, who just want a little bit of advice for what they're going through. I mean, you can get it from someone professional, you can get it from a professional writer, but then again, you can get like a little and about it because they're like, oh, they're professional. They can't easily get over it while you're having someone who's an amateur and they need help with it. So this is why I'm actually creating the vlog. All right, the second question. What are your intentions with this channel? Channel. Channel. That channel. Um, my intention, like I said in the previous question, I want to help those who have questions about a lot of writing. And I also want to help those who are just starting out as writing. Um, I know I didn't state this earlier, Oh, technically I did, but then again, I didn't. I've been writing since I was 10. I'm going to be 20 in August. So it's like a 10-year strategy going on, or whatever you want to call it. For 10 years span. There we are. And But I started writing a book when I was about 12 to 13 years old. I finished the book. So I know, I'm not saying I know everything, but I know a lot, or close to a lot, about it. And I want to actually talk about that in some videos and how you guys can defeat the writer's block that comes with it, defeat the stress, and give you some tips on it. Right. The third question, what are you wanting out of this channel? Pretty much, I just want to inspire others. I'm not going to lie, I want to inspire others. I want them to get the help they want, or need, or however you want to say it. That's not bad. Yeah. I had a brain fart. But I just want to inspire others, and if you call me egotistical for that, I don't care. I really want to inspire others by giving them some amateur advice. Yeah. Alright. Fourth question. What things would you be introducing on your vlog? I mentioned them earlier, but a few things I'll be introducing is some writing advice. Um, my own little works and talking about what inspiration came from them and what took, what took me to actually write them. Um, I've been, some people actually want some book reviews, I don't know about that, because I'm not very good at it. I can't keep track of reading one book at a time, I have to read like two or three. Now I lose track of one book and it's like, crap, I gotta start over. Yay, for being in six, 60 pages at the end, don't remember anything, it's falling for you. I don't know, this is gonna be a lot of rambling by me, a lot of advice, a lot of my writing, I'm still trying to figure more things out. That's anything writing related though, I will be talking about it. I just can't think of it right now. I'm having big brain farts. Alright, the fifth question. Yay. Is this something you're actually interested in? Like, like I said in the previous question, I keep answering questions after. I have no idea why. Yes, it's actually something I'm interested in. Although it may not seem like it right now because I'm rambling and I need to shut up about that. When I was actually in high school, um, I was popular amongst my writing classes because, or my English classes, because I could help someone easily with an essay. And you know, I've always talked about it in class. I've always talked about what should and should be done in writing. Although I'm not a professional, but I've always, someone has always come up to me and asked for my opinion about it. And I guess that's always stuck with me. You know, four years of it in high school, a little bit in middle school about this. You know, it's really, it's always been amazing to me how someone has come up to me and actually asked about my writing or 
like what should be done for an essay or how do you break the system which is actually a funny story I can tell you that in another video but I guess just now it's easier to get out to other people and try to explain it better instead of just explaining over writing because I can explain it over writing but then it just gets too complex and I'll get too passionate about it and it's like start staggering on yes this is something I'm highly interested in the last question for the vlog Will there be a schedule for videos? Currently, there's not going to be a set time and day, but once a week, I will be uploading a video. Once I get my schedule worked out, work, or something, loosen my schedule as of now, because I'm always working with a busy schedule. May and June, busy schedules. I will have, two, like, two videos uploaded a week. I'm not going to, like, upload one a day. I'm not a Let's Play channel, but I'm just, it's going to give me time to actually plan out what I want to talk about. This video, I've been planning out for a month. And I literally, I'm still kind of a mess. So, I'm going to try to get in the hang of it. But no, there's not going to be, um, like, um, actually a strict schedule for the channel. Well, that's all I have, really. I didn't want to make the video too long, so here's some... Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I know my voice sounds weird. I'm weirder with moving images than I am with just a still photo. But... If you guys are interested in more, let me know in the comments. Talk to me on DeviantArt. Talk to me on Facebook. Get a hold of me somehow. And I'm just going to see what's going to go here from now. Hopefully, you guys like the video. I'm trying to express who I am through the video constantly. It's kind of difficult because I'm always hyper. Thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video.